Hello my loves, welcome back. Let's begin this practice in a seated position. So find a comfortable position for you to sit. Rest here, the eyes close. Feel the sit bones reach the ground and to the floor. Let's take three breaths. Help the knees come up. Let the feet come to the floor. And bring yourself with the knees bent and the feet on the floor. Take the hands behind you, let them rest. Whichever direction that the fingers want to point. Open the feet nice and wide. Let the knees sway from side to side. Just move them from right to left. The knees come through the center, let the torso rise, sweep the legs around and come over onto all fours. Spread the fingers nice and wide and take a little bit of a cat and cow. Next time then that you inhale, find neutral. Widen the knees a little bit here and then kind of bring the feet in so that the ankles can cross. Notice which leg is on top and then sit the hips back into a cross-legged child's pose. Rise back up, uncross the legs and recross the other way with the other leg on top and sit back into wide leg child's pose. And continue this movement, uncrossing and recrossing and sitting back. Let the next time that you cross be the last time. And as you rise back up to all fours, uncross, tuck the toes, lift the hips up and take downward facing dog. Take a little pedal through your dog here. Settle in and then lift the right leg up and away from the floor. Bend the knee, draw the knee to the chest and plant the knee down in between the hands so the shin connect to the floor and the foot reach all the way back. Let the left leg then extend all the way back and just take a variation here of swan pose. Let the right hip come to the floor. Draw the left leg around and half the knee is bent with the feet on the floor here. Navel to spine, take the hands to the back of the thighs, lengthen the arms and then lift the feet up and away from the floor. Maybe the arms reach forward, taking Navasana here, boat pose. the hands to the back of the thighs, bring the feet back down onto the floor. 
Take the legs and cross the right leg in front of the left leg. Let's take again a cross-legged position. Let's take in a cross-legged position here. As you take easy Sukhasana, then let the hands come forward. As the hands come forward and you want to lean forward, reach the hands towards the front of the mat and maybe rock the torso forward so that the hips lift, rise up to all fours, uncross the legs and then step the feet back, lifting the hips up into downward facing dog. If that's not possible for you, sweep the legs to one side, come back up and over into downward facing dog. Let the left leg rise up, draw the knee through, place the knee onto the mat, toes point back, reach that right leg back. Mm. Settling into swan here, the pelvis parallel to the floor. The left hip slide down to the floor let the right knee travel through bring the feet to the floor knees bend hands to the back of the thighs pull the navel to the spine roll back lift the feet up maybe the arms reach forward hands back to the thighs, bring the feet back to the floor. Cross the legs with the left leg in front of the right leg. Sukhasana here. Let the hands come forward. Reach the hands forward as much as they can. Can the hips rise? Can you transfer the weight forward? Then can you step the feet back? Lift the hips up, take downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the floor. Cross the ankles either way, whichever works for you. And then sit the hips back and can you come into Sukhasana? Help the legs up, bring the feet to the floor. Hands to the back of the thighs, navel to spine, roll back, lift the feet up, and then take Navasana. Hands to the back of the thighs, feet to the floor, cross the legs. Again, Sukhasana. Hands come forward, walk it forward. Uncross the legs, step the feet back, lift the hips up, downward facing dog. Drop the knees to the floor, cross the legs, sit the hips back, taking Sukhasana. This time lift the legs up, let the legs extend forward and then from the hips hinge forward, come into Paschimottanasana. Fold, rise up, help the knees up, 
bring the feet again wide here, bring the hands behind, and then let the knees sway from side to side. through center, rise up through the torso, find a nice comfortable position again to rest, maybe that's the same position that you began your practice. And let's take three deep cleansing breaths here. In through the nose and out through the mouth. Resting here, body mind, heart and breath, balanced as one. Namaste.